the train from Bath to Cardiff, dropped our luggage off at our Airbnb and went in search for food, as usual. Day, we donned our wet weather gear and headed towards Butte Park and Cardiff Castle. Cardiff Castle is one of Wales' leading heritage attractions and a site of international significance. Located within beautiful parklands at the heart of the capital, Cardiff's castle walls and fairy tale towers conceal 2,000 years of history. The Roman fort at Cardiff was probably established at the end of the 50s AD on a strategic site that afforded easy access to the sea. Archaeological excavations indicate that this was the first of four forts, each a different size, that occupied the present site. Remains of the Roman wall can be seen today. After the Norman conquest, the castle's keep was built, reusing the site of the Roman fort. The first keep on the moat, erected by Robert Fitzhamon, Norman Lord of Gloucester, was probably built of wood. Further medieval fortifications and dwellings followed over the years. Visitors. Hello, uh, you're right. You can squeeze past. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You're right. Yeah, 
The castle passed through the hands of many noble families until in 1766 it passed by marriage to the Butte family. The second Marquess of Butte was responsible for turning Cardiff into the world's greatest coal exporting port. The castle and Butte fortune passed to his son John, the third Marquess of Butte, who by the 1860s was reputed to be the richest man in the world. From 1866, the third Marquess employed the genius architect William Burgess to transform the castle lodgings. Within Gothic towers, he created lavish and opulent interiors, rich with murals, stained glass, marble, gliding and elaborate wood carvings. Each room has its own special theme, including Mediterranean gardens and Italian and Arabian decoration. Following the death of the fourth Marquess of Butte, the family decided to give the castle and much of its parkland to the city of Cardiff. For 25 years, the castle was home to the National College of Music and Drama and since 1974 has become one of Wales' most popular visitor attractions. a place called St. Fagan's National Museum. Uh, it's just outside of Cardiff. We took the 32A bus to get here. Uh, it only took about 25 minutes um, and now we are just wandering around the grounds. It's actually um, a historical village where they have houses and dwellings from all throughout Welsh history um, and you can actually go inside a lot of the buildings and have a look. They have um, full-on traditional shops um, actually set up where you can buy Welsh products so if you come to Wales I definitely recommend it. If you come to Cardiff I definitely recommend it.
Thank you so much for watching. We absolutely loved Cardiff and can't wait to explore more of Wales one day. Next, we're off to London. See you then.